Interwomic Ministries presents part six in Grace, the Power of the Gospel, a six-part series. This teaching by Andrew is titled, Living in the Spirit. We pray that the Word of God will come alive in your heart as you listen. Today I'm into my sixth teaching going verse by verse through the book of Romans, and I tell you, this has been Awesome. I am actually rushing through this. Some of you may not think so, but honestly, the things that God has taught me through these scriptures, I could have been teach I could teach on this for years. So we're now into Romans chapter 8 in verse 5. It says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. The term flesh here, for those of you who aren't uh, familiar with this, you know, this is Old English. And it's a term that we don't use a lot. When we talk about flesh, we're talking about like skin on our bones. That's not what the Bible's talking about. The Greek word for this is sarx, S-A-R-X. And it just, it means carnal. It means the flesh as, stri- uh, the, the flesh as stripped of skin. In other words, it's not talking about this, this epidermis. It's talking about your body and your soul combination. The the part of you that has not yet been cashed in and changed by the power of God. Now they may be in the process of being changed. You could get a healing. You could be renewing your mind. You could have more joy than you had. But our body and our soul aren't saved. It's our spirit that has been changed. And the term flesh in the Bible is referring to this body and soul combination. The part that has not been renewed by the Holy Spirit. And it's a negative term. So it says, they that are after the flesh. Those that are just living as a physical human being. They aren't living out of the born again spirit. They that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the Spirit, and this is a capital S, but over in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17, it says, T that is joined unto the Lord is one Spirit. And, and it means the Greek word is hes, and it means a singular one to the exclusion of another. So, whatever is true of the Holy Spirit is true of your born again spirit. They are one. Like the fruit of the Spirit. 
SOME PEOPLE SAY THAT'S WHAT THE HOLY SPIRIT PRODUCES. WELL, THAT'S TRUE, BUT IT'S ALSO WHAT YOUR BORN AGAIN SPIRIT PRODUCES. AHA, MBA GAMA ANTI, AHA, AHA, EBE BIE VIZALI WO MOYO MUTU KUVE, CHIBA CHO MOYO MUTU KUVE, CHITUFU NA YA ATERA CHECHIMU, NO MOYO WE YALOKO KACHAZARA. BECAUSE YOU ARE ONE WITH THE HOLY SPIRIT. KUBA GWE OLIO MU, NO MOYO MUTU KUVE. YOU ARE ONE SPIRIT. MULIO MOYO MU. IS WHAT 1 CORINTHIANS 6.17 SAYS. ECHO NO BAKULIN SE CHISO KAMU KAKA KUVINA MUSAMVU WA GAMBA. SO WHEN THIS SAYS, that they that are after the Spirit do mind the things of the Spirit. This is talking about if you are following and being controlled and led by the Holy Spirit. But it's also true to be saying if you are living out of your born again Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit and your born again Spirit are one. So they that are after the Spirit do mind the things of the Spirit. This is how you can tell if you are in the flesh or if you are in the Spirit. Where is your attention? If you are after the flesh, you are you will be thinking about just physical, natural things. Now this needs a little interpretation because we live in a natural world. And you have to use your five senses. You know, if you're going to drive me to the airport, I don't want you to do it by faith. But if you are dominated to where all you can do is think of a physical answer. A physical way of dealing with things. If you get sick, if it's always medicine, if it's always doctors, and God is a last thought, that's carnal. That's after the flesh. I'm not saying that doctors and medicine are all wrong. I'm just saying that if that is your first choice, if you are dependent upon that, you know, you only use God as an escape. You're carnal. You're in the flesh. You are minding the flesh. You are focused upon the flesh. Most people only turn to God as a last resort. And that's because they are after the flesh. And you can prove it because they turn to the flesh. That's the first place they look. It says in the next verse, For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Did you know that the word carnally minded right here is that same Greek word sarx, S-A-R-X, and it's the same word that was translated flesh. If you are controlled by the flesh, the physical, the natural, if you always look to people, human things, natural things, instead of looking to God, you're carnal. And it says, to be carnally minded 
is death. Chokanga wanuromu kaga agambi enti okulo wozo kuo mubiri kwekufa. It didn't say carnal mindedness tends towards death. Tagambi enti okulo wozo kuo mubiri kuba kukulunga mianga kukutuwala mukufa. It, for some types of people, it produces death. No. Atita tagambi enti mubantu wabe chikula echenja ulonti okulo wozo kuo mubiri kuzara kufa neda. It's just like an equation. Carnal mindedness equals death. Na yeka tiwano alinganga kulaga echibaro nti okulo woza okuo mubiri kufamu kufa. But spiritual mindedness equals life and peace. Na ya kulaze nti na ye okulo woza okuo moyo buwebula mu nemirembe. What is being spiritually minded? Kachise chitegezo kubanga olimu ntu alo aino okulo woza okuo moyo. The Bible says in John chapter 6 verse 63 this is Jesus speaking Bible eyogera mu kitabo kya Yohana mukaga nkaga mu satu wano Yesu yali ayogera and he says it's the spirit that quickens the flesh profiteth nothing agamanti omoyo gwe guleto obulamu omubiri teguliko chegugasa the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are alive. Ebigambo byemba gambi gwe moyo bwe bulamu. You don't want to know what being spiritually minded is? It's being word minded. Oyagala okumanya endo wozo yo moyo chechitetegeza kwe kubanga oli muntu alowoleza mu kigambo. That's what it is. Chechino chategeza wano. The words that Jesus spoke, they are spirit and they are alive. Nti ebigambo Yesu yayogera moyo ate bulamu. So to be carnally minded equals death. Katwa kugamba nti endo wozo yo mubiri evamu kufa. But to be spiritually minded, word minded, kati ate okulowoza okwo moyo nga kwe kulowoza okwe kigambo produces life and peace. Kwa kuzara bulamu na mirembe. You know if you planted a garden. Umanyika nkulele wo simbe ni miroyo. I don't have to be there when you planted the garden to see what you planted. Seta aga kuwela yeyo ngolimu kusimba ni miroyo. Okwe tegeleza ndabebi chibi yo simba. All I gotta do is be there when something grows. Neda njaga la kuwela yo nga ebi intubige na maso no kula. And I can tell you what you planted. Aunja kusolo kugamba chichiche wa simba. Because you only have grow what it has been planted there. Kubanga ebi intubi yo ka ebi jokula biwe yo ka biwe wa siga. Either you planted it or through your neglect, you allowed something else to be planted there. Chiri jori, yonizo kubanga go wabisiga, oboro kubanti te wafayo, waleka e chinto cha chonane chijia chibisiga munimiro yo. And I know that there's people right now that you're offended and saying, well, you don't know what's going on. Yes, I do. Kati manjide dana walu katinga vichinyi zizanga wagamba, guyo gira china we, tomanyi chempita mu, neda mchimanyi. I can tell by what's growing in your life. What's going on? Kubanga nzimbanja kuwetegeleza kuwetegeleza chichichi echikula mubula mubu. Inkugambe chichichi genda maso. And there's people all the time come say, I've done everything the Bible says and nothing's working. That's just not true. Ila katuwa luwa bantubanja abadja jendi nga wanga. Banange nkoze bulichimu bai buliche gamba. Na echo kate walichu nacho nacho kola neda echo sichi tufu. The word of God works. You just have to work it. E chigambo cha katonda chiko, chikola Cho ino kola gukwe kuchikola And it takes more than just doing it you know Once a week or once every once in a while Or when you get your back against the wall Atenga chisuka wo gukolo Bukozo chigambo cha katonda Omulundi gumumu sabiti Obantu ine mbele kunyigiriza kuchisenge If all you do is stand on the word of God All you'll get is word of God results Bobanga gwechokula kwekwe sigama kuchigambo cha katonda Era empera jojo kufuna mu Kwe kufuna empere vamu chigambo cha katonda And so this brings up a teaching which again I probably have five or six albums Nurecho kati wanuwe nyinzero kugambiranti Nina esomo ngalirimu ebitundu ngabitano On this one thing Yo na liyogira kuchintu chechinu chechimu It just talks about as you think in your heart That's the way that you are Nga ensonge chiliyo gira ko erinti nti nga bolo woza mumutima guo bote boli Your life is going the direction of your dominant thought Ti ogula mubo bulu nga miziwa nga bula gaku saidi endo woza yo nazo jeziri If you are experiencing death or any form of death Mubango laba kufa mubula mubo Obe chintu cho nanga chefe nandiza ako kufa Discouragement, fear, poverty Okugwa mwa amanyi okutisi wa tisi wa owavu Insecurity on and on. Okulaba angatuli na mufumu. Nebi yutubio nebi ringebio. Any form of death. Engiri yo na eyo kufa. You have been carnally minded. You are reaping what you sow. Echo chikula ganti. Olinomu gwe muntu aine ndo woze gobele rebio mubili. Norecho olimu kukungu lebe wasiga. You are thinking like just a mere human being. 
And as a result, you're going to have the results that a mere human being gets. But when you start thinking that, no, I can do all things through Christ. In my flesh, I may not be able to overcome this cancer, but man, through God, it is a piece of cake for Jesus. It's no big deal. When you get that attitude, when you are spiritually minded, all you'll get is life and peace. It's a law. It's something that does not change. As you think in your heart, that's the way you are, Proverbs 23, 7. This says to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You can't be carnally minded and then pray for life and peace. No, you're going to reap what you sow. If you won't change, you've got to change the way you think. Not just pray and ask for a different results, but change the way you think. If you want the results that the Bible produces, take the seed of God's Word. Sow it into your heart. Meditate on it day and night. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest do according to all that is written therein. For then, when you've meditated in it day and night, then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Boy, that's powerful. What I've said would change your life if you would take it to heart. In verse 7, it says, Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. The word enmity means the enemy. The carnal mind is the enemy of God. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. Well, what is a carnal mind? Just go back up to verse 5. They that are after the flesh, and that word flesh there is the exact same word that was translated carnal. Those that are Carnal do mind the things of the flesh. What you see, taste, hear, smell, and feel. If you are controlled by the physical, natural realm and you can't perceive spiritual truth, you aren't going by the word of God. You're going by what the news says. 
nga togoberera chigambo cha kono chicho chigamba wabulanga gwe esiro liteka kuma ulire chiche gagambie you're going by what your boss says you're going by what your neighbors say nga gwe choteka kesira ye mukama wo chicho cha gambi ye banange mulirwana wa gambi atya you're carnal gwe chitegezo liwa mubiri and that is the enemy of god katwano cha yogera ko ntyo ye mulabe wa katonda it is stopping the power of god from operating in your life ntyo che chiziza amanyi ga katonda okubanga gakola mubula mubo It's awesome. I tell you the things we're talking about here. I just can't cool it even now. Even to be no be enjoy it. I want to be a man. I want to be I want to move on, but this is so important, and this is where so many people are missing it. Njaga lo kubanga ngenda mu maso ne bigambo bino na ya tempuli diladdalanga nino kubye teka kesira kubanga abantu kiriza abasinga kino che batalina era che batalaba The battle is in your mind Olutalo banangiru nalo mugamba anti lwa moyo lwe luli mundo woza yo Verse 7 it says because the carnal mind is enmity against God Kati wano balumi munana musamvu wagambi denti kubango ukulo wazo kuo mubidi buwe bulabe ili katonda. But it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Kubanga tegufugi wa mateka ga katonda, kubanga noku yinza teguga yinza, na haba habali mumubidi teba yinza kusanyu sa katonda. Verse 9, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Olomu enda gama antina ye mwe. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Let me just say that a Christian is in the Spirit. That is a positional truth. When you get born again, you are now in Christ Jesus. You are in the Spirit. But you can walk after the flesh. What that means is you can still sin. You can still get mad. You can still operate in fear. You can still be selfish. That's after the flesh, but your position is in Christ. So now, with that in mind, look at this. It says, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. A Christian can't be in the flesh. They're after the flesh. You can walk after the flesh, but you are in Christ. The next verse, but you are not in the flesh, but you are in the spirit. So a Christian is in the spirit. But you could walk after the flesh. On the flip side of this, a person who doesn't know Jesus who hasn't been born again omuntu yenna ataloko kangira tamanyu Kristo oyata wanga Kristo bulamuwe you can't be in the spirit you could be after the spirit omuntu oyota sobola kubera mu moyo asobola okutambula okugoberera omoyo you might do some good things ero sobola kola yebintu ebirungi munnange you might even go to church oswa munne no kugenda mu kanisa can learn that you're supposed to forgive somebody ero bayinzo kuyigiza yonti oyino kubako gwosonywa and you could do something good but that's after the spirit you aren't in the spirit until you get born again Boy, that's big. And again, I could amplify on this. This is a major deal. And the book of Romans chapter 8, this is a major key to unlocking this. When you are in Christ, you are now in the spirit. 
Oba oli mumuoyo kati. But you can walk after the flesh. Na yenga ate osobolo kutambula okugoberera ebyomubiri. If you aren't in Christ. Bwobanga toli mu Kristo. If you haven't been born again. Bwobanga gutolo kokanga. If you are still trusting in yourself then you are in the flesh. Bwobanga ochakiririza mu echo choli kitegeza obo ochali mubiri. And they that are in the flesh cannot please God. You have to be born again. You have to change your nature. And you can't change it on your own. You just have to come to the Lord and let Him change your heart. Man, that's awesome. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Somebody says, well, I just don't know if I have the Spirit of God. It goes on to say, now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. When you get born again, it is not just your spirit got changed and so here's God's spirit and it's awesome and it's holy and here's your little spirit down here. And it's a little bit like God, but it is so inferior. No. It is the Spirit of Christ that came into your heart. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. He that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. The Greek word is hes, H-E-I-S, and it means a singular one to the exclusion of another. Your spirit is identical to Jesus' spirit. Because it is the spirit of the Lord Jesus that's been sent into your heart. Let me just read this to you out of Galatians chapter 4. It says um, in verse 6, Galatians 4, 6, and because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. Crying, Abba, Father. It is the spirit of his son. Your born again spirit is the spirit of Christ. If any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. If you are born again, you have Christ living on the inside of you. Paul said in Philippi in uh, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ lives in me. Ne Paulo yagama bagalati ya bili abili ntina kumero amu ne Kristo na ye ndi mulamu siku bwange na te na yo Kristo ye mulamu munze. And the life that I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Ntiro bulamu wenni na kaka no mu mubiri mbulina lwa kukiriza kwa mwana wa katonda eyanjagala ne ye wayo kulwange. It's not us anymore it's God sent forth his spirit into our hearts. On the inside, you are brand new. You are a new creation. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Some translations say a new creation, a new species of being. 
echitonde echija atabala ti obofu semupia that never existed before all things have passed away all things have become new echitonde echi echitabanga na wo obofu semupia ngebika debyo nabigenze you are completely brand new in your spirit oboli muntu mupia dala mumoyo we yalokoka and the rest of the christian life is taking what has already taken place in your spirit elebe chiba chisigali demu bulamu bwo na obwe chikristayo kwe ku kwata echo che wafuna irecha kwe wenda mwoyo wa yalokoka renewing your mind with it and letting it dominate your actions and your thoughts no chikoze so kubanga chiza buja endo woza yobotyo no sobola okuchusa nebi kolwabyo and when you do that you will experience this supernatural life of god wote wogendo kulaba amanye gogo akatona nga kulukutambula mugo in verse 10 it says and if christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Katimuru barumi munana kumi agamba na yoba anga Kristo alimu mwe emibili jamwe newe jiba jifa orwe chibi emyoyo jamwe jiba miramu orobu tukirivu. Sin caused our bodies to be corrupted. E chibi chile etela emibili jafe okubanga jono nebwa. Caused our mind to be corrupted. Chile etela nendo waza zafe okubanga zono nebwa. And that's what the Bible here is calling your flesh. And if you are in the flesh, Tuvaya Bible wano che ita o mobili, nti wobango li mobili. You can't please God. You've got to please God through faith. Toso bula kusanyu sa katonda katonda omusanyu samungeri yemu yoka ya kuita mukukiriza without faith it's impossible to please him hebrews 11:6 e watali kukiriza tusobola kubanga osanyu sa katonda abebulania 10 ne mukaga it's through the spirit that you have to relate to god o ina kuita mumoyo e yaloko kagwo kubanga okwatagana ne katonda so again verse 10 and if christ be in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Olwe kumi agami yeti na yoba anga kristu alimu mwe embili jamwe nebo jifa olwe chibi emyoyo jamwe jiba miramu olwobu tukirivu. Verse 11, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. Olwe kumi ne lumu lugamba yeti na yoba anga omoyo goye ya zuki za yesu mubafu atula mumwe. Which he does if you are born again. Atenge ila atude mugwe wobanga waloko ka. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Ntee azuki za Yesu mbafu atula mumwe ila nemibili jamwe ejifa alijifule miramu kubomo yogwe atula mumwe. Ultimately, the ultimate quickening, the word quicken means to make alive. Kati e chino chaga manti alijifula emiramu chitegeza nti kwekuwa obulamu nate. Is when we Either the Lord comes and we go to meet him in the air or at the second coming of the Lord and we are going to be resurrected. When we get to heaven, we will be quick and that will be the perfect, complete, full manifestation of this. But you can experience this to the degree that you renew your mind. And you can experience it right now on this earth. Man, I couldn't tell you how many people, hundreds of people that I've prayed with who had cancer. We have people right here on our staff that that have been miraculously healed of cancer. So, the ultimate of this verse is when we get to heaven. We are going to have a glorified body that won't even be subject to sickness. He's going to quicken our mortal body, but 
kwanguiriza emibiri ja feka tiji nejibu jivunde saweno na ye. It will happen here in this life. Chiso wakira dara no kubanga chitandika katiku nsikuno. To the degree that we renew our mind. Ngeju chija kwe sigama kuchigera chogendo kutuara ngozo bujendo woza yo. You can be healed, you can have joy, you can have peace, you can be delivered of anything. O sobolo kwenye zewa, sobolo kusanyo, kukuba mirembe, esanyo, mubichimucho nacho nacho ya gara no kwenye zewa. Verse 12, therefore brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. Again, the word flesh. Katibarumi munana kumirabili chavagama antikare no aboru ganda. Tuline banja omubili sigwe gutu banja. Okugovere rango omubili. Erechi gambo omubili. Here isn't talking about the skin on your body. It's talking about to our own abilities. Tayogira kulususuruo olorubise omubili go. Newabula ayogira kubusobo zibo. Our own strength, our own wisdom. Amanyi gafe, amagezi gafe. We are debtors to the spirit. It's the spirit that quickens. Tuline banja. It's the spirit that gives us life. The spirit is what makes everything else work. So we should live after the spirit and not after the flesh. Verse 13, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if you through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Oh man, this is powerful. Like this, this is so, this is so awesome, so powerful. That just speaking about it for just a moment here doesn't really do it justice. Man, this is so powerful that we are debtors to the spirit. The only hope a victory that we have is through the Spirit. So therefore, we ought to be focused on the Spirit. Which again, Jesus said in John 6, 63, the words that I speak unto you, they are Spirit and they are alive. We ought to be focused on the Word of God. We ought to be renewing our mind day and night. And yet we are carnally minded. We are focused on things that are of the flesh, things that are of the natural. And we cannot please God doing that. We should be just living for the Lord and focused on God. If we live after the flesh, we shall die, not just ultimately physical death. Where we go to be with the Lord, but we will experience depression, discouragement, poverty, etc. But if through the Spirit we mortify the deeds of the flesh, the word mortify means to put to death. We need to be denying our flesh. Most people are heaping all kinds of things on their flesh. They're indulging their flesh. They are satisfying every whim. You know, all you have to, all most people have to do is turn sideways and look in a mirror and you can tell that you've indulged your flesh. You don't get fat any other way than to indulge your flesh. And I know that there's oh no, it's my genes. You don't understand. No. It's because we've indulged ourselves. We haven't mortified ourselves. If you quit eating, you'll lose weight. 
nao banango kulia kuza. Oche kubanga uvako umuge jogo. And if you decrease your eating, you'll lose weight. Atera singo kendeza nebiolia. Iroja kweka anga nga umuge jogo kufudeko. We need to mortify the deeds of the flesh. Tuteke duanga okubanga tufisa. It says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Again, there is a whole message, there's a whole series in that one verse. Man, we need to be led by the Spirit of God. Verse 15, For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Did you know Abba was a term of familiarity. It would be similar to what we call daddy today. Ochimanyi ntino e chigambo aba chigambo kwa gamba choyo gena ngomu ntomu manyi denyo o yinzo chikide gena nyane chigambo nga oloche tu gama anti daddy. It's a term of endearment. Not everybody has access to that term. Chechigambo chokubanti omuntu ono omuli buziba. Kwe gamba sibuli muntu ye na nti alinobu sobozo kuogere chigambo chino. But this says that God has sent forth the spirit of his son into our heart whereby we cry Abba Father. Ni wano agama nti katonda asindi somoyo guo mwana wimi mitima jafefe awaro koka nti kati asinda nti Abba chitafe. Daddy Father. Agamantikati daddy chitafi. A term of endearment, of intimacy. Chino echigambo echogirwa ungo mtu omumanyi denyonga omulibu ziba dala mungkola gana. Again, we could meditate and minister on this for a long time. Na chino nubane tisoro kuchifumiti li zake and chino wazako kumaraka seda. But most of us aren't enjoying this kind of a relationship with God because of condemnation. Na hebi sede bisingo jakwe sanganti abakili zabanji tebanyumiru ankola gana eno neka tonda eyebu ziba luachi kubanga basa liru omusango. Because we are living under the law. Luachi kubanga. Because we think God is dealing with us based on our performance instead of Jesus' performance. Boy, there's great truths there. In verse 16, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Man, this is awesome. I just had a person ask me yesterday, how do you know if you're born again? This right here says, the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. And when you get born again, you have a witness, you have a knowledge, an understanding, an assurance. On the inside. Now that's not to say that it's perfect. And that's not to say that you can't believe a lie and be deceived and fall into doubt and stuff like that. But generally speaking, overall, when you get born again, there is a witness. In your heart, it's always there if you're truly born again, but you can deaden yourself to it. The key is not to deaden ourselves, but to assure our hearts. To receive this and minister this assurance to us. In verse 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. Christ. If so be that we have suffered with him that we may be also glorified together. 
Again, there is so much here I could spend days on all of this. But man, we are not just a heir of Christ, we are a joint heir. You know, if you have a joint checking account, that means that it takes two people's signature. The husband and the wife, or if you're in a business, you could have multiple signatures. Then you have to have all of those signatures in order to cash a check. You know, this is a safeguard. We now are joint heirs with him and that means that it takes two people to sign this check. We can never, I don't care how much you sin, how, how much you turn away from God and turn things over to the devil. It takes two signatures and Jesus is never going to sign things over to the devil. He will remain holy. So this is a safeguard. You will never lose everything the way that Adam lost everything. Because Jesus is our chief guarantor and he has to sign with us and he won't sign with you and allow the devil to dominate you. But the drawback to this is that Jesus has already signed all of these things that belong to you. Healing, prosperity, but if you don't sign it, if you get into doubt and unbelief, you can void, you can make what Christ has done of no effect. In your life, that's what it says in uh, Galatians chapter 5 verses 3 through 5. Christ is made of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. So we are a joint heir with Christ. That's a wonderful thing, but it also puts a responsibility on us to renew our mind. Man, that's powerful. It goes on to say in verse um, 18, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Notice it didn't say the glory which shall be revealed to us. But it's the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right now you have the glory Glory of God in you if you are born again. It's not out there. 
It's in you. Eche chiti wa te chiri bueruyo. Wabula chiri munda mugu ya loko kaka. Somebody looks in the mirror and says, I don't see it. It's not in your flesh. Katwalu watu nude munda vila muna kama yenge chiti wa chakato na zesichiraba. Banda ngele chiri mkumuviri guo. It's not in your mind. Te chiri mundo woza yo. It's in your spirit. You can't see or feel it. Wabula chiri mumoyo we ya loko kaka. E rato soba la kuchiraba obo kuchuulira. But according to the word of God, it's there. Na yoku sinzila kuchikambo chakato na e chiti wecho mwe chiri munda mugu. And it's going to be revealed in us. And once we get to heaven and see this and see what God has done for us and we get a full revelation. All of the things that we've suffered here on this planet are going to be nothing. In comparison, the compensation is going to be so great, it'll be like a tsunami. Overwhelming a little tiny tree on the beach. There's, I mean, whatever problems that you've had, people that have been through the Holocaust. People that have been raped and plundered is terrible. Terrible as all of those things are, God's glory in heaven is going to be so great that in the book of Revelation it says the former things will never come to mind. We are going to be so compensated. God's love is going to be revealed in us to such a degree that it's like everything we've suffered, whatever it is, you may think it's terrible. How could how could a person ever get over this? Heaven is going to be so awesome that all of the things we've suffered down here are not even worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. Webale kuuliza program ya fe ya gospel truth tukiriza anti owele dua nyo mkisa okuita mkisome sewa kuno. Wabango ya gara tusabe kona awe oboli na HV uzocho na oboli na obu julizi kwecho katonda chako zo kuita kuprogramu eno. Tukubile ko kunamba ze simu zino wa manga 0 bili 0 0 satu satu 0 0 0 0 ngambie eri 0 bili 0 0 satu satu 0 0 0 0 oba 0 musamvu musamvu munana atano mutano nkaga mutano musamvu ngambie 0 musamvu musamvu munana atano mutano nkaga mutano musamvu kuro kwa gara kwa katondo kutali koko mojoli tuogiro mkisa kwa katonda Tuogere nkula akulana, ila tuogere ukonye zewa, mulinyari ya mkama fe yesu, uwele duanyo umkisa.